A new study by the Department of Education finds that students who think school is a boring waste of time score significantly lower on their standardized tests than their peers. Are these exams biased against students who don't give a shit? Absolutely. These kids are yeah. placed at an unfair disadvantage. You know, students who don't care enough to read through to the end of a word problem have an 89% lower chance of answering it correctly. <laughs> Did you enjoy that uh, opening joke line? How do we help kids who just frankly don't give a shit? That's, <laughs> That's a funny joke, right? This next one's not a joke. Check this out. Able to graduate. Now we did notice that some students continue to have absences as well as fail courses. And one student was missing a history test requirement. Uh, but because he did junior year or half a junior year online, uh, they failed to realize that he didn't test, um, which I find it kind of strange because I thought end of class exam was like the star test, um, and I thought everybody took it together at the same time. During class about a week ago, the principal called Salvador Guerrero to tell him he would not be graduating. At the time, I felt like singled out, like from mismanagement, like how do, how do you let me do that? How do you let me miss out on such an important thing? According to Superintendent Dr. Daryl Henson, all students were given a course plan at the beginning of the year that the counseling team was supposed to help keep everyone on track. Now the ownership of things not being completed on the plan does have to be both on the students and the campus. We have to make sure that throughout the year we work together on it. Yeah, all these kids failing, failing, failing. That's right, only five, five who are able to go across that stage. Does that not seem a little bit, eh, what's going on here? Why wasn't this caught until the finish line type deal going on? Yeah, in there's a 90% attendance rate required in Texas, and these kids couldn't do it. Absolutely not. There was absolutely no way they could get the attendance for 90%. Why? Because how can you take a kid who doesn't give a shit and make them give a shit? But you, but they have to do it. It's required by Texas law. These other states are bending the knee to these students and saying, oh, well, you don't have to have 90%. You don't have to have the knowledge. No, 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 no. None of that is required because as long as you feel like that you've gained the knowledge, you're golden. You know, like that's why we have people graduating with a 12th grade level like high school graduation who can't read at a third grade level. I wish I could say this was some sort of weird phenomenon where, oh no, it's just happening here or there. No, there's entire sectors, entire sectors where they can't be on grade level. Or they, and, or they can't be even close to grade level. And this is just an example of what's going on in the big picture. Now, I, I, this other clip, which is uh, shows the school's, um, what are they called, Attend, uh, attendant uh, speaking over here, you'll see in a second, talks about how they're going to allow the students to make up all of those work in days. Okay, the first video that you saw, not the, not the comedy video, but the last video you just saw, was talking about, eh, you know, like only five gonna graduate. The next one that's been recorded by the news agency came out 24 hours later and they went from only having five to having 20 something students being able to walk across the stage and why? How? I'll let him explain it right now. Here you go. Understand that despite being on track, the race was not complete. We had a number of seniors not finish their attendance and or course completion throughout their eighth semester, which is the spring semester of their senior year. So we have talked to parents and worked with parents, and we felt that it was best to provide additional time, support, and resources to ensure that every student can meet the requirements outlined by the Texas Education Agency. I, I get that you were in a difficult position, right? Because you've got five kids who, I guess, did everything right and were ready to graduate and 
had things planned and, and they deserve to graduate. How is it fair to them to delay graduation and at the same time give other people who, who didn't complete everything, didn't follow the rules, a, a chance to graduate while penalizing the five who, who played by the rules? No, and that's one thing that I definitely understand. And tonight, I am glad to announce that we have 27 students who are eligible for graduation, and we have three who are... <laughs> did you see that? Did you, did you hear that? Within 24 hours, students were able to co completely take an entire course. So that way they could pass it because they had to be present for 90% of the course. You know, they first off, they were like, oh, crap, we're not going to be able to have students graduate. What can we do? I guess we'll just, as long as the school year doesn't end, they technically haven't failed. <laughs> like, <what? laughs> and then they had the audacity to say, we're going to give students who refuse to go to their classes for 90% of the time the ability to take an entire course within 24 hours and they did that for like over 20 students because they couldn't be given a they couldn't give a damn about going to regular classes why are you even bending the knee to this degree because all you're doing is promoting the idea of oh you don't have to go to classes ever just show up 24 hours you know, one day after graduation and sit in a room for one day and you'll just get, you'll get credit for it. Do you realize the, what you're setting as an example of to what to be, what to do? And this is coming from Texas. They're supposed to be hard on this kind of stuff. And they're still allowing these students to go across the stage. What about those five students who actually put the damn work in for the whole semester? Those five students who did get a 90% attendance rating. Those five students who did learn the education and actually did the work. What about them? They get held back. You know, they, they have, now they have to walk across stage with these other kids who didn't put any work in, showed up for one day so that they could retake an entire course or multiple courses and they get credit for it. So it, it lessens the value of the degrees that the kids who actually put the work in got. This is why a high school diploma is a joke, people, okay? Because these days, kids are walking across the stage without the ability to read and write. Well, what are we supposed to do? Are we supposed to hold them back? Are we supposed to punish them? That's a fit, that's a problem. No, no, it's not. The degree, what a degree is, when you get a high school diploma, it states that I, whoever your name is, have gained the knowledge and the ability to learn to know these skills and to be able to do things at this grade level, at the efficiency of a high school graduate. But instead of bringing the kids up in knowledge and education and getting them to a point where they can actually do the schoolwork, no, that's too hard, guys. We can't do that. That requires effort. That requires actually making the kids do what we want them to do and come to class as a bare minimum. No, we can't have that. Instead, how about we just bring the bar down? Just bring the bar down. You know, that's, that's what all they're doing is bringing the bar down and that's, uh, at some point, what's the, what, what would be the point of going to school if the bar just keeps being sunken down this far? Now you literally have children, or people graduating high school who refused to go to their classes and didn't get credit for their classes, just showing up for one day. Those two news articles you saw were recorded within 24 hours of each other. So within 24 hours, over 20 other students were sit down in a room and were somehow educated to the degree of other students who had taken the classes over the entire semester. If that's the case, then dude, you just came up with the best way to educate people. What you could literally have people graduating high school within a year if you just did it the way you did right here. That's the most efficient way if it works. But it doesn't. We know it doesn't because people don't retain knowledge when they have to sit in a room for and learn everything in one day. It's repetition that that has knowledge to be retained. Why do you think schools are set up the way they are? You know what I mean? No. What you did was is you signed a paper saying that these students knew what they 
they needed to know so that they could walk across stage so you wouldn't have parents pissed off. You cave the need to the parents. And you know what? The parents are just as much at fault here as the school and all of the faculty because the parents let their kids stay home. Yeah, but my kid was sick. You know what? Oh, well, you got a runny nose. Go to class. You know, if you're not puking, if you're not... If you're not picking on yourself, if you're not crapping yourself, you know, if you're not, if you're not, if you're not having a serious medical issue, go to class. Nowadays, you know, children are missing classes for everything. Literally, oh, I just, I just don't feel like going to class today. Well, do you have a 90% attendance rate? Because if not, your ass is going to class. That's what I would be saying as a parent, because I want my child to be, be educated. I don't want my child to be able to bend the knee and just do bare minimum because that's the president we're setting here today. You know, I, I've said this before and, and, and I'll say it again. I've not gotten smarter. I was a C level student in high school. Well, I was a B level student in high school. I was a C level student in, in grade school. You know, in college, <laughs> cum laude, su cum laude. It's not that I got smarter, it's the bar was lowered so that dumber people could get achieve more. But the thing is, is without that barrier, then there's no differentiating people at the top and the bottom. Yeah, but that's the thing. We don't want to differentiate people from the top or bottom. Then what's the point of doing anything? Because people strive and struggle for achievement. And without that achievement, if that achievement means nothing now because everyone has it, then the people who actually need to get those achievements won't because... What's the point? If everyone can do it, then it doesn't matter now, does it? Yeah, that's true equality. No, that's 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 destroying a system that could help people. What you're doing is you're removing people who could potentially actually help people, people who could innovate, people who could invent in your in your dis your, you're removing them from a society which could benefit them because why would they want to invent? Why would they want to get the skills to invent and improve it? Yeah, but these other people could do it too. I mean, I guess technically you're right, but uh, I guess history will tell, won't it? Because right now we've got students graduating who can't read, who haven't actually taken courses as example today. And somehow these students are supposed to go on to college and get degrees and be able to benefit society. How's that gonna happen? I'm open, tell me. Tell me how it's gonna happen. I wanna know because I don't see how it's gonna happen. I'm open for you to tell me because maybe you know. If you enjoyed today's video, share it with those who you think would relate to the message. Let's grow the army. Uh, this channel can only grow if you allow it to grow. So thank you very much for taking the time to watch this. Subscribe and share it, please. That's all I ask. Hit that share button and throw it on your medias. Let's get the conversation going because if we don't change the direction that society is going, then we won't have a society to change at all. So I'm begging you, let's change it. This has been Blind Justice and I'll see you in the next video.